speak Spanish. Learning a critical skill in one's native language is important in understanding it. Here to tell us more is Aglai Young, a safety consultant with the NDSC. Thank you so much for joining us, Aglai. Gracias por invitarme. Oh. <laughs> I only took like maybe one or two years of Spanish and that was many years ago. But tell me, why is this such an important thing to, to be learning? Because we have uh, detected, well, found out that uh, people who um, who come to our state and don't speak English very well. Mm -hmm. They receive the training in English and then they don't understand oh, their, their training. Oh, sure. And OSHA and other government organizations require that, that employees know, understand, have, have, they have the right to understand mm -hmm. their training. So if you teach uh, the class in English, they're not going to un to understand much. Sure. Even if they have a slight understanding of English, a little understanding of English, mm -hmm. they might not have enough to understand the full extent of the class. Absolutely. So we are uh, promoting our classes in uh, in Spanish, CPR and first aid, mm -hmm. uh, to try to get that segment of the population trained on how to help each other. Absolutely. Right. And I see I suppose as our state's population continues to grow, this is something that people are facing more and more. These classes are offered, but oftentimes not in your native language. And like you said, there's a lot of maybe like nuances or words that maybe they don't understand clearly and so they're not really understanding the content. Exactly. Exactly. And once more, they the workers have the right to understand mm -hmm. their training, not just to receive their Absolutely. training. Yep, I think that's a very important distinction to make. That there's a, is a difference between taking training and understanding your training. Yes, you you took Spanish. Yep. So yep. what if I t teach exactly, the class yeah. to you in, in Spanish? Spanish yeah. Are you going to understand everything? I don't no. know that I'd pass a test. I'll be no, honest. <laughs> probably not. So, uh, are these classes open to anyone, or is it just if you know your native language is Spanish? Do you kind of like like to keep the classes small? Well, everybody. Mm -hmm. They are open to everybody. Uh, the North Dakota Safety Council uh, mostly caters, you know, to to safety people. But anybody can sign up for classes. They the schedule is on our on our website. Mm -hmm. I don't know the phone the phone number. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have that at the but end. But you you can yes <laughs> you can check on our website. We mm -hmm. have a classes scheduled in Bismarck, Fargo, and Dickinson. Okay. But if somebody, um, let's say a restaurant, wanted to train all their uh, all their staff in mm -hmm. uh, CPR, they can call us and we can do a private class. And we also we're also mobile. We can go anywhere if sure. they don't want to come to that's, that's to a us. Great thing about NDSC yes. is you guys are so helpful to all of the rural yes. communities yes. as well. Yes, and the other thing is that we don't just offer CPR, we offer other safety classes in Spanish also, OSHA, mm -hmm. OSHA 10s and 30s and um, other things, whether through a uh, Spanish-speaking instructor or we can also have an interpreter. Mm -hmm. So so these classes, you, like you said, there's a variety of them. Maybe to bring the, the topic home, can you think of any examples of you know where training was missed or maybe something was misunderstood that it didn't translate and it has real life consequences? Well, uh, the, the Hispanic Latino workforce mm -hmm. are one of the, the segments of the population that get hurt most in the mm -hmm. in, in the job we have a, a lot of fatalities and and injured people probably because they don't understand the training or the companies don't train them or because they the culture of safety is very lax in in our countries of our mm -hmm. origin right so when they come here to the United States they don't understand very well what they have to do mm -hmm. and if they receive the training in 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 English, yeah. they don't know that they have to tie off yeah. or that they have to do, keep their own safety, right? Absolutely. And um, if you check the statistics, Hispanics are one of the most vulnerable um, segments of the population, especially mm -hmm. in the workforce. Mm -hmm. Well, we have about we have about thirty seconds left, so I know it goes time flies fast. But yes. we're going to do a demonstration for us, so I hope we have enough time for you to, to show us a little bit about what you're going to learn. Sure. Well. Well, can I'll you? Be, I'll stay seated, but you can sit right. there. I will do I'll it on, on the table. But yeah. CPR needs to be done on a hard, flat surface, okay. right? right? On well, the I floor. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it hurts. <laughs> it, it. And you're going to put your the heel of your hand okay. in the center of the chest, interlock your hand, and you're going to do compressions. 
hard and fast. Yeah, I right? think that's the part that scares me the most, is you really have to put some pressure. Uh, you do it. Yeah. You do it. <laughs> Bad CPR is better that's, than no yeah, that, CPR that at true. all. That's true. You just have to press hard and fast. About 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Okay. Right? 30 compressions, two breaths. 30 compressions, two breaths. So, okay, so we still want to be doing the breaths too. It's compressions and breaths. They are not required anymore. They are not mandatory. If you want to do them, do them. If you don't, because God knows where that mild uh -huh. has been, you don't, you don't yeah. have to, mm -hmm. but make sure that you work hard on your compressions, that you, you the, the, the main thing is to do it. Yes, right. yep, like you said, do something it. is better than nothing. Exactly. And we have some uh, information up on the screen there about where we can learn more about these classes. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was Gracias wonderful to have you. Yes, I hope <laughs> we get to have you back and we can learn some more. Anytime. Excellent. Gracias.